Yesterday on this program, I spoke in depth with Democrat Will Rollins, who plans to challenge longtime Republican Congressman Ken Calvert in the upcoming election. And tonight, I'm asking the same questions to Calvert, who is seeking re-election in the newly drawn district that includes most of the Coachella Valley. Ken, first off, why are you seeking re-election? Well, I'm going to get this country back on track. You know, we were moving in the right direction. And a year ago, under one party rule, uh, everything's gone bad, whether it's inflation, whether it's the border, whether it's crime, whether it's national security, education. There's so many issues out there that are going wrong. It's hard to pick one or two or three. Uh, and uh, I have the experience and the motivation and the passion to get things done. And I have gotten things done in the past. Look forward to doing it for the Coachella Valley. Now, if you are reelected, what do you plan to do specifically to address some of these issues? Well, one is that uh, inflation, we have to make sure we get that under control. What does that mean? We, we've got to get this budget under control. We can't continue to spend money like this inflationary spending, borrowing money. We have a debt that's approaching $30 trillion uh, on the books right now, not to mention the Fed debt, which uh, is probably up to $10 trillion, which at some point they're going to have to put, uh, we're going to have to pay down. Uh, and so that's probably the thing that's probably hurting people out there the most. Next is the border. Uh, the southern border is out of control. Two million people crossed that border last year that were apprehended. Probably another 400,000 that were not apprehended. Uh, we, uh, we've got to get control of that border. And next, crime. Uh, these folks that uh, want to defund the police, they uh, created a, a scenario in this country and certainly here in California where crime is just rampant, and that has to come to an end also. Now, the new newly drawn district stretches all the way to La Quinta, so you're now going to be representing, if you are reelected, much of the Coachella Valley. Are you familiar with the valley and some of the issues here? Yes, I've been coming to the valley for virtually all my life, have a lot of friends in the valley. I've been out there several times since we found out that the district will include uh, a good part of the Coachella Valley. Uh, I love the area. Uh, and uh, look forward to representing it. I spoke yesterday with uh, Democratic challenger Will Rollins. Uh, one of his main criticisms about you is that he said that the LGBTQ community is very strong uh, here in the Palm Springs region, and, and he felt like you were pro-gay rights, uh, pointing to some of the things that you voted on. Your response? Well, things have changed in this country in over the last 30 years. Uh, President Obama was opposed to gay marriage. President Clinton was opposed to gay marriage. Uh, that decision has been decided. The courts uh, determined that the gay marriage is legal. That's the law of the land, and that's that. And so I, I want to talk about issues that everyone cares about. And that's uh, the issues I just discussed, inflation, crime, the southern border, homelessness issues there in Palm Springs, which is unfortunately out of control. Uh, those are the issues that I'm going to talk about with with entire communities, whether they're gay or straight, whatever. We're going to talk to everyone and, and, get to, and get to work on these issues. What do you want voters here, Ken, to know about you, and, and why should they give you their vote? Well, I'm a businessman. I've delivered, uh, you know, before I was in Congress, I was a you know, successful restaurant operator and, uh, and real estate uh, developer and uh, understand the days uh, that people go through, the hard days people go through to to have a business, especially now going through COVID, it's been extremely difficult. And uh, I wanna make sure that the regulatory problems we have in the state uh, help get relieved, uh, is, at least from the federal side, uh, and to help this economy. You know, I, I help get, for instance, on the region, Ontario Airport released from the jaws of LA. I uh, help bring the KC-46 planes to March Air Force Base, which is regionally is extremely important. I've been working on the salt and sea issues for years. I'm, I'm the second ranking on energy and water appropriations and the ranking on defense appropriations, which obviously I focus a lot on national security issues. But these are issues that are very important to people in Coachella Valley, to the people in the state of California, and also to the entire country. Do you anticipate that this will be a tough race? I anticipate every race that I've been in over the last number of years is tough. Uh, this is a new area for me, the Coachella Valley. It's about 15% of the congressional district. I still represent almost 80% of the congressional district that uh, I represent today. Uh, my hometown of Corona is the largest city in the district. 
And uh, I'm looking forward to running into Coachella Valley, talking about the issues that are important, flood control, traffic, homeless issues that, uh, that I've been discussing with people uh, down there and uh, working on help resolve some of that. All right, Ken, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Hey, thank you. Have a great day.